Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Everyday Caddy for the Everyday Guys. So today is a very popular video for me. It's my EDC video for summer 2019. Summer's just about to hit. It kind of actually already hit. Uh, here in Cape Town, it's been, it's been fairly warm and, and really humid and just like mucky. I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be carrying this summer 99% of the time. Obviously, as you can see, my cap made it into the video. So I do have a few of these in different styles on my website. Go and check it out. I do wear a cap during summer because as you can see, I wear my hair really, really short. And like getting headburn is a real schlep. So I will wear a cap very often in summer. Check out my website if you want to see more of the types of caps that I have. So I want to talk about clothing firstly because Urban Warrior, um, which is a local company, has made some really, really awesome clothing specifically designed for EDCers. I'm going to zoom the camera out or pan it out so I can show it to you. If you don't care about clothing and you just want to see the guns and things and the knives, forward to the time down below and that'll sort of take you to the, the, the standard everyday carry stuff, but you're definitely going to want to check this clothing out because it is literally designed to cater for concealed carriers. Outstanding stuff by the guys at, at Urban Warrior. And I think pretty much as soon as you see it, you're going to want it. I know their, their recon and infiltrator pants have sold in ridiculous numbers, more than we could have thought of. And I think their new gear is going to sell just as well. So check this out. So guys, I had to pan the camera out a bit so you can get sort of a full idea of what I'm talking about with the Urban Warrior General Tee. First off, you'll notice there is no markings, there's no tag, no label, no nothing. That's one of the deals that I thought was really cool about Urban Warrior and something I really wanted. I didn't want something that would stand out. Secondly, what you'll see is this t-shirt is longer than most t-shirts, okay? Most of the time people will go for a t-shirt size larger than the regular size in order to get this length because this length helps with concealment. Now the problem that comes in there is when you go for something this long, your sleeves are larger as well as well as your neckline. So your t-shirt just ends up looking really sloppy. What Urban Warrior have done is they've sort of from this area over here, it's a medium. And then from this area down here, it's a large, but they've kept the, the width the same. So even though this is, so this is marked as a medium, but it's, the length of it is sort of like a large t-shirt, which is really, really cool for concealment because you're getting that length without the width, if that's the best way to put it. As you can see, um, it fits the guns just right. So it is sized for an EDC, it's sized to make sense for an everyday carrier to carry their weapon, have a bit more material to either fall forward or fall backwards, so it, it helps with concealment. Now, to that end with helping with concealment, I'm currently carrying my Glock 19 Gen 4 OLED PL Pro with a plus two base plate. And as you can see, drop it in there and it's gone, you know, and no one's going to look at this outfit and think, oh, that, that's weird. There's no bulges, no nothing. It fits like an absolutely normal t-shirt. What's also really cool is if I take my firearm and spare mag carrier off, it still fits very much as a normal t-shirt would fit. So I'm not carrying any weapons right now. And still, you know, this t-shirt still sits pretty much like a normal t-shirt would sit. Yes, it is slightly longer, but it's not so long that it's going to draw any attention to yourself, which is very important when you are concealed carrying. So I've got the firearm back on now. And as you can see, there's very little difference, which is the point I was trying to make. Now, the material is a stretchy material, so it will stretch. But the arm seams, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, the seams down the shoulders, okay, have been taped. What that means is it's not going to stretch at the neck. You're going to have that nice fitting neckline no matter what. You can hang this guy on a hanger. It's not going to pull or stretch the neck, which is very important to arms as well. So you're going to get that nice form-fitting top for the duration of the life of this t-shirt effectively. Also, what's really important is this material does not crease. So you can practice your draws all day and you're not going to get that, that knot that happens in the middle here. This t-shirt was washed today and not ironed. And as you can see, there's virtually no creases. So it's like a creaseless t-shirt, which in itself is reason enough to buy a t-shirt because ironing is a nightmare. That's the Urban Warrior General t-shirt. I'm going to be talking more about it as things go on, but it's a really, really cool t-shirt designed specifically for everyday carriers. And I think it's kind of the first t-shirt of its kind with these design features built into it. So that it's going to make everyday carrying and more importantly concealed carrying easier. Okay guys, so what we've got here is the Urban Warrior Delta Shorts. Now, something to note, I'm carrying my full EDC in the shorts. Everything you're going to see in the next video is currently worn in the shorts as we see it. 
we've got a utility pocket on this side, a cell phone pocket on this side. This will flap closed, but um, I'm using it as a mic, so this little uh, jack comes out here so it won't flap closed. When you buy the shorts, they customize this pocket to fit your cell phone measurements, so you're mailed in. Each and every shorts is made to measure customized for each and every buyer. It's, it's not a mass manufacturing process. Everybody customs their own shorts to how they want it. The pockets, the inside pockets are quite deep. It goes all the way down. As you can see how far my hand is disappearing. And they are straight, which means when you carry a knife or a torch, the knife sits straight. The back pocket starts quite close to the seam, which means you can put your multi-tool, whatever you want in there. And when you sit down, you don't sit on your tool. It sort of sits on the side sort of by your hip area. Also goes straight down and has a massive piece of Velcro over here, so that's not gonna flap up by mistake. The pants is made out of like a composite material, part stretch and part firm. So when you're standing normally, it's got a really nice form-fitting look, it holds the shape, but it's also got massive stretch to it. You wouldn't actually imagine, sorry about the bare feet, but I'm in my house and you only live once. You wouldn't think that it has this amount of stretch, but it's got complete, total stretch in it. it even when you put it on, it feels a lot more form-fitted than you'd think versus the amount of stretch that it has. The waistband, obviously you can't see it here because I'm wearing my belt. The waistband is a fused waistband. That means it's sort of your first level of structure when it comes to carrying your firearm. You can wear your firearm with a belt in this waistband with the waistband button clip loose. That's how structured the actual waistband of the shorts is. The belt loops, as you can see, are positioned for sort of appendix carriers, but also for um, guys who carry at five o'clock or three o'clock. So they've got gaps in these areas over here and in the center so you can fit your holster with your firearm. Obviously they do need to be at certain distances apart in order to maintain that uh, your belt, but 99.9% .9 of the time, you're gonna have no problem slotting in your holster with clips, whether it be single clip, double clip, soft loop, whatever the case may be. The side seams are double stitch as well as the seams at the crotch area, so you're not gonna have any tearing down here or when it stretches, so you're good to go. And again, that stretch is really amazing for something that feels this structured. This shorts is called the Delta because it was like our fourth try at making the shorts, thank goodness it isn't called the Zulu, right? But there is a lot of engineering that goes into this. This material is not really readily available, so while the shorts is available, you guys might want to jump on it. The utility pocket has a YKK zip, so you know that's never going to break. And as you can see, the deal with, with the company that makes Urban Warrior or that owns Urban Warrior is that they are a fashion company, so they maintain a high level of fashion qualities while still giving you that everyday carry ability. As you can see, this is a type of shorts that you would find, you know, it's, it's not exactly a tactical looking shorts, but again, I've got my entire EDC stuck into the shorts. It's comfortable, it looks good, it feels good, it's stretchy. It is the best item of everyday carry clothing I've ever gotten my hands on. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend this because this is actually something I think is really, really cool. So guys, that is the Urban Warrior General T-shirt, which I'm wearing, as well as the Urban Warrior Delta shorts. I'm very fortunate I consult with Urban Warrior or I consult on their gear. They send me their stuff early. I test it. I send it back to them and I say, maybe do this or the other. They say, no, we won't. I say, as you should, we fight for about two weeks and then they end up doing it, or I end up sucking my thumb crying in the corner. At the end of the day, it takes a lot of time, but they come up with a really, really good product. So I'm really proud and really amazed with what they've been able to put together. But now we're gonna get down to the gear. So we're gonna go sort of how I would carry this from right pocket all the way around to uh, rear pocket. You're gonna see everything I carry in my pockets. I will cut chop, chop to B-roll as I talk about things to show you where I carry it. I want to talk about this as well. So these are Wiley X Saber shades. I didn't get the whole Wiley X thing until I got a pair of these shades. This, These things are freaking amazing. You don't understand. Like, why does everybody not have a pair of these? I want to say a huge thanks to Travis at Mavs Gear for sending me a pair of these. This is the least expensive um, offer or offering. It's like 800 and something bucks. But the amount of engineering in this thing is truly amazing. I may do like a short non-tactical Tuesday about these, these shades just to take you through everything. Let me know if you're interested in that. But the Wiley X range of, range of shades are extremely impressive. If this is the least expensive offering, not least the fact that you can do this. Okay, they are like life proof you know you know how you like always careful with your shades 
With those shades, you don't have to be. They are so solidly built. Okay, so on to gear. In my front right pocket, I'm, believe it or not, I'm actually not carrying an Olight flashlight. I'm carrying the Phoenix E16. I reviewed this a few weeks ago, and it's just grown on me. It's a little CR123A battery-powered flashlight, 700 lumens. Got really cool modes. It's non-rechargeable, so I'll probably switch back to my OLED once the battery on this dies. But it's the smallest flashlight that I own for EDC in terms of size in a this wordly direction. This way, I think you will get a, a few other options that are thinner, but size-wise like that, it is the smallest. And I've just been carrying it, you know, since my review, I've just not taken it out of my pocket. I've just kept it, and it's, it's I, I use it, I'd say, about maybe four or five times a week. I, I don't, I'm a bit of a fiddler with things. I'm always under my desk and like, trying to optimize things around the house. So the Phoenix E16 from Blades and Triggers, very, very cool flashlight, very small, really like it. It's neat, it's clean. It's just a nice looking flashlight. My, my previous EDC flashlight was the Olight S1R Baton 2, this guy over here. And so this is sort of like the big daddy of EDC flashlights, right? Like everybody wants a S1 Orbiton too, and you can kind of understand why. It's, a, it's an absolute beauty and it just, yeah, it's just a very well-designed rechargeable flashlight. There is a size difference. I think I've shown this before on my channel. And I mean, it's a fairly substantial size difference, right? But then again, this one is rechargeable, this one isn't. So I'm sure that's where that size difference comes in. In terms of the thickness, they're pretty much exactly the same. And as they both have magnetic bases. So my everyday carry flashlight currently, and this may change once this battery dies, is the Phoenix E16. Then moving along to my wallet, the My Brother's Keeper wallet. I don't know if they've got a specific name for it. I'll leave a link. I'll leave a link to everything down below in the video description in the order that I review it. I'll also leave my links to my reviews of those things. So you'll see everything down below in this order. Guys, this is such a cool wallet, right? I love this wallet. Firstly, it looks really cool. Secondly, the way it functions is, is amazing. I don't really keep cash in here, so I keep a... Actually, I have cash in here. So I keep an access card to my office in the back, so I can just like basically tap it like that and let it open up. And then you've got a little cash. You've got like a little cash clip there that you can use to hold your cash. And I've, I've shown in, the, in my review of it how to hold your cash. Such a cool wallet. These guys donate to an organization that cares for military veterans. So they're very near and dear to my heart. If you are looking for a wallet, please give them a look and try to support them. They, they're doing really good things. And they're not not making profit, but they're also giving something back, which I think is amazing. And I wish them all of the best. Coincidentally, next week, I'm going to show gear alternatives to what I carry. So if you carry a different flashlight or you want to carry a different knife, a less expensive knife or flashlight, um, wallet, whatever the case may be, I'm going to show that next week. So you're going to see a different wallet next week in like my EDC gear alternatives. I'm also going to run you through a ton of holsters next week for pretty much every Olight there is on the market. So we will get to that. And then on to the firearm, the thing everybody wants to know about. So I carry a Glock 19 Gen 4. Obviously, as you can see, I've done one or two things to this. This firearm, by the way, guys, is empty and safe, so don't stress about that. This is a Gen 4 Glock 19 that's had a little work done. Um, I'll take you through it from bottom to top, shall I say. So it's got a Cerakoted Magpul GL enhanced Magwell. The stippling, I hope you can see this is a basket weave stipple job done by the guys at SA Laser Engraving. They do amazing work. They also did the slide serrations over here. The Cerakote on top here was done by the guys at Yonker and Sons. I've got a Sightmark Mini Shot M Spec mounted on a custom plate. I'll see if I can get that zoomed in there. This plate allows me to hot swap any site basically. So I can put pretty much anything on here. So if I want to review pretty much any site, I'm good to go. The front and rear iron sight is also custom made by Yonke and Sons. I'm carrying the Olight PL Pro weapon light. This is the rechargeable PL2 Valkyrie basically. All stock internals um, the, and all the coloring and set coating was done by Yonke and Sons. They do really amazing work as well as SA Laser Engraving who also sort of engraved their basket weave job onto the slide which really helps for front slide manipulation. This is the configuration in which I carry my firearm. This is exactly how I carry it because I can. 
I carry 17 rounds in this uh, mag with a plus two base plate because more rounds in the gun is better than more rounds in your spare mag. I do also carry a spare mag, which is just a basically a base Glock 19 mag in the Edge Custom Carry Mag Carrier. If you want to know what ammo I carry, I carry that ammo. I don't really like talking about ammo because everybody has their own flavor. I don't want to influence you. You carry what you carry and you trust what you trust. I'm happy with that. I've done a review on this firearm in terms of what's been done to it. I've done a review on the light. I've done a review on the red dot. So everything you will see, if you want to know more about anything, it'll be in the video description below. I can't talk to you about everything because this video will go on forever. Then the Edge Custom Carry Eclipse holster is my holster of choice. What's really cool about this, amongst other things, is you can charge your PL Pro while it's in the holster. It's got a port over here. I consulted on the design of this holster and as you can see, it conceals quite a large setup like an absolute bomb. I have done a review on it, so I'm not going to talk too much about it, but it's an amazing holster. If you're looking for something really good to carry a big setup and conceal it well, this is definitely a massively viable option. Then in my rear pocket, your good old trusty Leatherman Scally tool. I'm never going to part with this, guys. This is going to be with me for the remainder of time until Leatherman comes out with something more minimalistic and more intelligently designed than this. I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of this thing. I use this, I can almost say on a daily basis. It's such an amazing tool. It's got everything you need in it, nothing you don't. You definitely, if you are in the market for an EDC tool and you're a bit of a minimalist, you don't want to carry like a massive piece of gear in one of your pockets. The Leatherman Scally tool is definitely, definitely, definitely the way to go. I love this tool. I can't stress enough how awesome this is. And then guys, the belt I use is a belt from Beltman Belts. You can contact Paul Fisser. I'll leave links to him down below if you want to order yourself one of these. This has been like my go-to belt for quite a while. I do chop and change between belts, but I found that I've sort of stuck with this one a bit. I don't know why. I used to carry the Bravo Concealment Cinturon Gun Belt, and literally I just decided one day to switch. There's no difference between the two. They are all just as good. I've just been wearing this one for the longest time now, so I figured I'd put it in as my EDC. My watch is still my old trusty Casio Chronograph. The reason I went with this... Which way is right way up? Is that the way? No? That? I don't know. The reason I went with... Which way is the right way up? I think it's that way. The reason I went with this is because this kind of looks cool, you know, on the battlefield and in the boardroom. I really like it. I don't know if they are still available, unfortunately. But it's a really, really nice sort of uh, formal slash aggressive looking wristwatch. And so, yeah, I don't see myself switching from this anytime soon. Unless Cassio wants to send me one of their like G-Shock Mud Masters. Just putting it out there, use it, don't use it, it's totally up to you. Something I forgot, whoops, sorry about that. The Benchmade Griptilian, this is my EDC knife of choice. So there's a lot of bad press around Benchmade right now, but they make a darn good knife, let me tell you that much. This is an amazing blade. This thing is still as perfect as the day I got it, and I got it like six months ago. You can check this out from Blades and Triggers. Very, very cool. STV blade steel. It's such a nice knife. You're not going to go wrong with this thing. Really nice pocket clip. Really sleek design. Okay, and it's got that. I think it's called, is it called the Apex locking mechanism from Benchmade? But it's just like butter. Very, very nice knife. I can confidently say that even though Benchmade did a bit of bad things with the gun community, the ability to make a knife is unquestionable. Blades and Triggers hooked me up with this, so I really do appreciate them um, for supporting me. And this is such an awesome knife. I also did a review on this knife. If you're looking for something, it's a bit on the pricey side, but you're getting really good quality. Like, don't question the quality you're getting here. This is a high-quality blade, and you're not going to be disappointed. So, guys, that is pretty much my entire EDC. Next week on the channel, I am going to talk about alternatives to this. If you want less expensive knives, or you want a different weapon light on your firearm, I am going to cover all those things and I'm going to cover the holsters that would go with those firearms. So I'm going to sort of give an alternate look at EDC. Check out Urban Warrior on my website. The cool thing about buying on my website, right, and I'm sort of um, promoting myself here, but that's the reality of the situation is, everything on my website, if you order one product, it's only 80 bucks delivery. If you order two products, no matter what it is, it's free, de free delivery nationwide. No, it's not a case of you have to order things to the value of like a thousand bucks or 500 bucks. Any two products ordered off my website equals free, de free delivery. And it's always going to be like that. And I'm working on a deal to get the delivery cost when you do have to pay for delivery even lower. So stay tuned for that. As I said, I've got a ton of caps on my website. 
Urban Warriors going to be on our website as well. I struck a deal with them to get their gear on our website. I don't make any kind of uh, extra profit or it isn't more expensive if you buy from my website as if you would have bought from them directly. Um, it's going to be the exact same pricing across the board. I think they're going to run a special on these two items, sort of like a launch special. Don't quote me on that, but they might. So this should be on my website on Monday if you're watching this from date of release tomorrow. And then also, guys, the OLED competition is going to run until Tuesday, the 1st of October. I kind of made like an idiot mistake. I said that competition is going to be, the win is going to be announced on Tuesday, but that doesn't give me enough time to sort of um, give everybody a chance to enter towards a closing date and then film that video. So Tuesday, the 1st of October at 11, 59, 59 seconds in the evening is the cutoff date for the OLED competition. I will then announce the winner the following Tuesday. So that's kind of how it's going to work. So it gives everybody a more chance to enter. I will share that video again on my social media accounts um, going forward. Guys, remember next week, alternate EDC. If you like the video, I try to go through everything as quickly as possible because otherwise this video just last forever. I have done reviews on everything. Check it out if you like it. That's it, guys. I will see you soon for another review. Have a good week. I hope you buy some caps. Um, cheers. God bless.